A little bit of action here today. Guy got off the bus and started fighting with the bus driver and he started fighting back. So now the police have just arrived to arrest him. So I better not video him much more. There he is. So there they go. They'll take over it. We better move on. Let's get in trouble. Oh, thank you for that. Bit of action, fighting, and then the police arrived. Right, I better not uh, get myself involved. If you just put that, I've, I did video a bit earlier, so I'll put the videos up as well. That's a good start, I know. I got off the bus, the next thing I know, I see a fight going on. So uh, I'll just sneak away now without being seen. Yeah, everyone's okay. We'll just see a guy get arrested. Well, I take it they're arrest, going to arrest him, but... Uh, back in August. Yeah, unusual this time of day. I don't know what happened there, but uh, a little bit of fun to start the day off. As soon as I get off the bus, I wasn't quite ready for him. I should have been uh, going. Hi there. Hi, Zoe. Good afternoon, everybody. I don't know whether the police have still got him or... I don't know what's happened now. I think they must have got him back to the bus or something because their police are car still there and there are people around. But yeah, a bit of a drama to start the day off with. Well, I've got to continue on to work. Afternoon. We were waiting for you to go past. Were you too? Oh, right. I did go past. I looked for you. I couldn't see you. Oh, well. We'll see you later. Right. Let's get back to uh, walking along the beach. Lovely weather in the flamingos. Lovely weather here as well, actually. Just up the road from you. Police didn't take long to get here, actually. Very quick. They don't hang about here. Not that place, yeah. It's afternoon. Just, just gone afternoon, it is. Right, I'll walk across now. I'm in school vaping in the toilets, oh dear. <laughs> Look, that's all you're doing. Six more days and you'll be here. Who's the noisy lady? Nosy lady. Which no nosy lady? I must have missed some chat, have I? Don. Cuckoo. It's not that far away. Is it a little distance away? Have a look on Google Maps and you'll see exactly then. That's where I normally check out how far away I am from places. Google Maps is brilliant. So it does help. Your work in Weymouth. Don't eat cheese. Adam is here at the moment. Adam, he's from Weymouth. He's a taxi driver. You've probably seen him, I expect. Hi, Stevie. Yvonne and Stevie. Nancy's back. Oh, just less than a week now. Less than a week. Next Monday night, she'll be here in Benidorm. Got lost on Google Maps. Uh, You're not supposed, not supposed to get lost when you're on the maps. It's supposed to be of a, a big help. When are you coming to us and Nicole? Is it Nicole or Nicola? I, I missed that then. Nicole, when are you, when are you joining us? I will be very happy when she's back. The Hotel Presidente, it's back to my left about uh, 10 minute walk, 15 minute walk.
you're coming in August it's gonna be hot in August very hot right we're nearly at the beach I'm walking slow today what's that I can't, yeah. Got her to be back home, I know. A bit uh, Beach when I was with Carly. Oh, yes, I put it on. It's on YouTube. I checked, it's on there. I'm with Carly now, actually. Carly's here, look. I can see Carly right now. There's Carly. Right next door to my dad, Rex. There's Rex. That's my dad's name. Or was my... When he was alive, obviously. Well, he still is Rex, but... Uh, and, of course, there. There's Carly. I don't know if you can see Carly. Oh, there's a better sign there. I was looking for one without the bars on. Yeah. So that was, that was good timing. You came in just as we were walking past Carly. I could have walked any street today, anywhere, any part of Benidorm. I could have walked today, and you come in and uh, you're there right when I'm. See how many coincidences I get when I'm alive. I get so many coincidences. It's amazing. You know how how ironic was that that uh, you talk about Carly and we're right opposite her. I must be psychic or something. You just ah, oh, you just finished your Zuma. You did a. A 30 minute Zuma in 20 minutes, that was good. A 30 minute Zuma class in 20 minutes, that's, uh, that's a record. <laughs> right, I'm struggling to read the screen now. Um, I'm not going to the red line, I'm going to work. Some of us got to work here. Some of us haven't got the pleasure of sitting out in the sun all day. Some of us have got to work all day inside a bar. I don't even get time to go to Red Lion when I'm off work. So busy. Hi there. I go past the Red Lion quite often. Yes, yeah, still work at Collier's. You can see the beach is uh, quite full today again. Told it's really it is really hot. Yeah, you'll need to try and get a bit of a tan. You'll need to try and get some sun on you before you come over us, you'll burn so quickly. It'll be it'll be just amazing the heat over here. It's hot now, it's 32 degrees at the moment. Oh, thank you very much, Laura. Lord John. Pop in next weekend, okay, brilliant. Managed to see that. Well, we've got some moderators here, Aaron. They're going to be here, so you'll be probably meeting a few of me moderators. Nicole Huda Ginger are here at the moment, and so is Donna, Donna McKebab. And at the weekend, Jackie will be here. And of course, Monday, the boss will be here. Monday, the boss will be back. Monday night with me we shall be doing a live when we go and see her so uh hopefully she'll see me the same time as you see her donna's on the wrong bus i know you're coming on saturday as well so you'll you'll get to meet the lovely nancy or miss nancy as she likes to be caught she's obviously not a miss she's a missus But uh, yeah, that's, so there's the beach today. It's I can't see no chat at the moment. I'm gonna have to keep going into the shade where the trees are. We land Saturday the 9th, ready for your wedding anniversary on the 10th. Oh, that'd be good. Yeah, come over and join us for a drink. Oh, don't tell anybody else to get an extra in your uh, short if you're having a short. I'm just getting some messages here. <laughs> You'll get me all right. We'll we'll give it a go. 
I'm just checking my messages a minute because I've got some bleeping going on. Sharing is caring, it definitely is. Yes, it's beautiful. I'm walking slowly because I don't want to sweat. Although I'm going to sweat, but I don't want to sweat so much. That's what I should say. I don't want to get to work leaking. I've got, I've got two t-shirts in work ready. Although we do have air conditioning, so it's, I only need to change the once normally when I get to work. So, and then of course I've got a load of washing to do before Nazi comes back. Oh, thank you for that. Mark, thank you for that. That was Mark, was it? Trying to see, yes, thank you, Mark. Have you met my daughter yet? Have you seen her in the streets yet? The one with all the dogs in tow. Wet Wednesday, and if you were here at the beginning, you would have seen a fight going on. There was a fight between a bus driver and a, and a guy who got off the bus. I, I seen it happen, I got a video of it. So it's on the live, it'll be on the live on YouTube when I post this one up. So you'll be able to see it. S seats are pretty empty today, plenty of room to sit on the front. Yeah, I did video it, and I videoed them with the police well, on the live. I didn't video the police on my video, but I will be putting it on. They, I got them scrapping and holding them on the ground, two, two bus drivers. Yes, I live here, I'm working here as well. I'm heading to work now. I'm on my way to work. I'm just checking the beach a minute. Yeah, we're okay. Or are we? Yes, we are. Just that she's got a skin colored top, that's what it is. As you can see, it's beautiful. Hang on, I can't see the screen now. Warm 32, it's saying on the. If you look at my videos every day, when I go down on my way to work, I go down and I video the latest exchange rate and what the temperature is on the machine, you know, on the on the guide. So if you want to know what it's like every day, just watch my um, watch my videos. What do I do for work? I work in a bar called Collier's Bar in the Old Town. Right up the other end of town for me. It's a long way to go. I have considered getting a job closer, but the trouble is if I if I get a job closer, my lives won't my lives walking to and fro work won't be very interesting, as Dom said. Dom told me that, so he's forced me to uh, work as far away as uh, I can. Because they wouldn't last very long, the lives, obviously. Do you know the Costa Blanca apartments? I don't know Costa Blanca apartments. I know about the Costa Blanca Hotel, the sole Costa Blanca. Um, which is just down there, then that way. But, uh, oh, that's right, she's topless, but she's down, face down, that's right, as long as she don't get up. I don't think she's looking like she's going to get up for a minute, although she did move then, I better be careful. Because she is right in front of the camera, but. I can only show the topless ladies that have got a bikini top on. They're the only topless ones I can show. The ones without the bikini top, I can't show. Hopefully you can see nothing there. <laughs> I have to have, I've got eagle eyes, I've got to. I've got, I've got an eagle, I'm, I'm a, a, a spotter. I've got excellent eyesight for that to make sure that I don't, uh, that it's only me that sees them. <laughs> so we're here at the Tiki Town. Good afternoon, yes. Only when there's no police around. That's the only time we get to see the P men. And I can't see any P men at the moment. Sometimes they're out in force, sometimes they're not. It just depends. No, you don't need to be vaccinated. You just need a negative PCR or a negative lateral flow. And that lateral flow has got to be done within 24 hours before you come away. And the PCR is within 72 hours before you come away. 
And that's it really at the moment, but I think that'll be dropping again soon. I think it's all gonna go very soon. Is there anything for young children? Loads of things. Zoo, yeah, we got the Aqua Natura Zoo. We've got Mundo Mar where you can go, um, as, well, you can get in the same pool as the dolphins and the sea lions. Um, yeah, there is the zoo. There's the Midica, Terra Midica theme park. And of course you've got the Aqualandia, which is a theme of, um, it's, uh, well, it's all water slides. Lots of water slides. And they've got vertigo, which is like a trap door that you opens up and you drop, I don't know, 25, 40, to, was it 50 feet? I think I did read. You'll only need a mask when you go on the bus or you go into a, a medical center or a pharmacy. That's the only time you need a mask. You, the, the taxis aren't asking for masks now, so. But they've got to be up to date. If you haven't, if they're not up to date, your jabs, then you will need to get the, the test if you don't want to have any more. We got back yesterday. Two weeks. It was so good. Yeah, I bet it was. Just there, by the way, I keep forgetting sometimes, is Aroma is a good little cafe. Lovely and friendly in there. Just there it is, just down there. See some people there, oh, it's pretty full there. Between the two pink buildings, when you come along the front, just past the Burger King. So if you use the Burger King as your, um, you know, to remember, just past the pink house here, or the pink shop, and next to the pink ice cream shop. So uh, thanks for sharing the live. I better, oh no, I can't show that part of the beach. That one's looking right at me. No. Aye, aye. No, still can't show the beach. Well, not that part of it, anyway. I do like to show this part of the beach because of the island and that, but... Um, I don't think I can. Went last week. No one asked you for anything. No, that's right. No, they're not asking for everything. They let, they're only picking one in a million sort of thing at the moment, so. But uh, here we are at Teak the City. This is the city here. As we say, 32 degrees today, that's all it is. And the beach is quite um, filling up. Loads of people in the sea as well. Yeah, I can show this bit. I'll just move a bit further. As long as these don't start taking their tops off, we'll be okay. Look at that. Beautiful. And it's getting busier. Your son has only two jabs for coming in August. Well, like I said, if they're not up to date or whatever, then you just need to get a PCR test or a lateral flow test. Oops, there we go. Ambulance. Somebody's having a bit of trouble somewhere. But yes, if, you're, if your jabs are not up to date or whatever, then you just need to get a lateral flow or a PCR. I say a PCR is 72 hours before you fly and the lateral flow uh, 24 hours before your flyers. That's what. That's the last one. But always go onto the government website and check. We normally put all the information we can up on our Facebook page. Well, my moderators do. They're brilliant. They're uh, keeping everybody up to date on there. So, if you see my moderators there, you'll see the little sign next to them. Give them a little follow as a thank you because they really do a good job for you. Don't forget, give me a follow as well if you want to see more. But, yep, my moderators are fabulous. They do a lot, a lot of work for the give everybody the information that uh, I'm always not looking at. So I got the best moderators in the world. So show them some love when you see their name there. They help to keep everything 
about Benidorm up to date, keeping you all informed of what's going on. Yeah, it is nice to see people here. Hi from Aki. So Aki the other day. Met Aki. That looks manic. It does in that bit, yeah. It does get a bit better as you go up through, you know, there, it's just in that one place. Everybody goes where the, the way in and off the beach is, you know, way in and out. Here, look, where, there's, where you've got to walk to, there's not quite so many people here. It's not like it all the way down. Uh, well, yes, it is, actually. As you can see, it is quite busy down through there. But there are some other beaches as well. Check the other beaches out. They might not be quite so busy. If you know where they are, we might get a chance to go up and see them, actually. What time is it? What, what time are we looking at? Oh, there's the ambulance pulling in. Must be somebody... Uh, what's the time? 12.20. Yeah, we've got time to go up there. We're going to go up there, look. That's where we're going to head to now, so we can see all the other beaches, so you can see what it's like. So we're going to go up there now. I'll get a bit of a motor on, and we'll see what's happening up there. Two dramas in one day today. First of all, the, the bus drivers having a fight, and then we got the paramedics here. Probably too much sun, I expect, because it's very, very warm. You don't realize how warm it is. It can't be an emergency, because he's not running, so... It must be just uh, somebody having a bit of a hot flash with the hot temperatures. So I just got back a lot of poor quality breakfast, but best was Yorkshire Pride. Yeah, the hotels, if depends which hotel you're in. If you're in a Spanish based hotel, the f you're not going to get, you know, the, the breakfast that you'd probably like because they cater for the Spanish with the food. But if you stay in a hotel that's mainly British, then you will get better food that way. Well, no, I don't, not saying better food, but you'll get probably the food that you, you know, you want. I can't see where that paramedic's gone. But, uh, <laughs> I see someone, they're all running across the sand. That sand is so hot. 32 it is. Which is the best hotel. With a, I mean, you've got several. You've got the Presidente, you've got the Arcos Gold, you've got uh, Ambassador. Those are mainly British hotels. Um, there's, there's loads. There's... Venus, Orange, Pueblo. It depends on which part of town you want to be in because Bened See, not a lot of people realize how big Benidorm is. And if I get a move on, I'll be able to show you. And then you can decide which part of Benidorm you want to be in. Is there a campsite? There's loads of campsites just outside of Benidorm. The nearest is up near next door to the Benidorm Palace. That's the uh, Tahat. Torretta, uh, Torretta, Torretta, that one is. Then further up, you've got Racco. After that, you've got Arena Blanca. Then you've got Camping Benidorm. And then you've got v Via Mar, where Happy Days Graham and the TV show is always filmed. Um, right, we're going to head up to that rock. Let's go inland a bit. Have you got your mask on? Why have I got a, Why would you want to wear a mask? We don't have to wear them now, and they've never done anything, to be honest. I don't think so. If they'd have worked, we wouldn't have had the problem. I think all the mask does is suppress your own immune system, breathing in the fibres and the masks. I honestly don't think if the mask had worked, we wouldn't have been, wouldn't have been in that position. Right, we're going to go up the secret alley. It's forgotten about now. It's gone. That's it. Let's move on. 
bananas is I don't know where the bananas is that the thing now I haven't eaten a lot of bananas lately you work in the care home still have to I know it's crazy isn't it you know I suppose in in, in certain situations yes where you've got people that are infirm and um, ill and everything yeah that might work I agree on that, but not out in the streets or anything. No, I don't. No, I don't tell people they need jabs. I never tell anybody they're going to have a jab. They just need a mask when they go in on the bus, or into a medical centre, or into a pharmacy. That's all I say. You don't need vaccines for any other reason. You don't need them to come here. You just need a negative PCR test or a negative antigen test. Or the natural flow. No, I would never tell anybody they've got to have a jab. Never. It's your own personal choice, that is. You just landed. You won't be long then. Yeah, let's get up through here. No, I... That's right, you don't need it. Look, everything's normal again now. Anyway, let's move on. Let's go and see the good things. Up to the church, yes, here we are. There's the church. For those that haven't seen it, here it is. One of it's open, is it? Oh no, it's not open today. So, uh, big doors, so they might, might be open. But we've seen a church before, let's head up here. This is where we need to be. Look at this. As soon as you come through this piece here, look at the view you're faced with as soon as you leave that exit. Just look at that. Another beach, just as big as the other one. That's the other beach, that's the Ponienti beach. And of course, the little small beach is just below which we'll see, we'll get a better angle in a minute. But you can get your caricatures done here. You do some really smart uh, drawings. You know, they're just drawing this guy, look. It's a good likeness. Very good likeness, got the eyes all perfect, isn't he? And the teeth. Lots of very good uh, artists up here. At night, there's lights all the way along here. Oops. Just got to check this area. There's one right below me. Uh, yeah, I think we're okay there. Looks like it's good. Here's another little beach. This is Malpaz. It's a lovely little beach here. And of course you've got Ponienti just along here. That's Ponienti Beach, the other beach. Yeah, the blue sky, it's beautiful. Loads of people in the sea. Let's go up here a bit. Make sure you're sharing the live and... Uh, Tap on the screen, give us a few likes, get a few more people in so they can see this beautiful view. Cool. It's hot. 32 today. Right. Everybody's a bit tired because the heat takes it out of you. Bit warm today. Oh, yeah. 
Here we go. Look at that for a beach. I'll keep that just there because it's. I can't see any screens. This live will be on uh, YouTube later as well, by the way. Either later today or tomorrow when I get a chance to put it on. Happy vibes, happy vibes, yes. You're in Levante. Oh, we're sat on Levante Beach. All right, well, this is Ponyendi Beach. This is the other one. So if there's, if it's windy and it's not so nice on Levante Beach, come to this one because it's you've got this sort of like sheltered area. This is a beautiful sheltered beach. As you can see, there's no, no waves whatsoever. It's almost still, look. There's hardly any waves coming onto the sea, and it's quite shallow as you go out. You can go out quite a way, look. So it's a lovely little beach. There's no rocks in the way. There's the same as over there. That one's quite a shallow beach as well. And that's a little port there where you get all the rides from, you know, the, the boat trips and everything else. Oh, look, there's the, there's the boat that gets all the people trying to get across because here, it's the same as Dover to Calais. We get lots of uh, African immigrants trying to get across when it's weather like this, when the weather's good. So that boat is normally out patrolling, looking for the immigrants trying to get across. Because we get the immigrants come here first, they come here and then they realize that Spain doesn't give them anything when they land. And uh, they, they then head up to Calais and they head off to Dover then. So they head off to Dover because of course in the UK we give them everything when they arrive. They get nothing here. So that's... Uh, Yep, so the immigrants get across here first. They come all the way from Africa, which is over that way. And, uh, and if they get past the patrols here, they then head up all the way up through Spain and over to France. They, they travel a long way before they get there. And here is the Balcon de Mediterraneo. It's a dry heat now at the moment. I'm, it's quite moist, I'm quite, uh, I'm sweating a little bit. Boat trips, I hope so, yeah, normally there is. The only reason they haven't had them this year is because there's not been, or last year, because it took a little while to get people back, but look at this. It's amazing views here. God, looks like I'm crying. I actually got almost tears coming down my face. But it's sweat, not uh, not tears, not crying. I can't see any chat at the moment. I'll have to have a look in a minute. But uh, there's the balcony. So fabulous place here. Right, let's get rid of this face and go back to what we can see. So there we go. There's there's Levante Beach. That's where someone says they're sitting at the moment. Down that way. That's Levante over to where I live, over in the far corner there. Uh, go for a swim, I'd love to, I'm on my way to work. Some of us are not here on holiday. Some of us have to survive and stay here and live here. And then over this way, might pop into Colliers on your way back from the Balcon. You're up here somewhere, are you? Well, you can see that I am. So yeah, look at that. There's the other the other beach upon the end over that way. Time to get a selfie. Now I live in the Newtown. Well, the other side of Newtown. It's a real park, nice. As far as I know, everybody that I know has stayed there said it's good. See, that's not very deep down there. You could come out and go snorkeling around there. I'm going to do that one day. That's what I've got to try and do. I work in a bar. I work in a bar. That's where I work. It's about uh, less than a five-minute walk from here. An Irish passport. Of course it is. You can get work over here then. And there's loads of jo jobs available. If you can get an Irish passport, well, you know, you're laughing if you want to work here. 
you can't wait to be there no if you can get me an Irish passport passport that'll be better because I've, I've had to just I've applied and I've got one of these black ones again now or dark blue or whatever they are don't really want it I mean I'm okay because I got residence here but uh, I would sooner have had the uh, the, uh, the burgundy passport but I had to renew it What's that you're going to Benidorm this day next week one week away well hopefully we'll catch up with you my wife will be here as well so there'll be two two crazy people here going live in fact she's more crazier than me I think yeah it's nice here I love it hi from Liverpool the laws are different yeah it's not easy, uh, not so easy to live here as it is in the UK, but uh, once you get here, it's okay. Yep, this is where a lot of weddings are, um, a lot of people after their wedding, they come up here and get their photos taken. I mean, it's beautiful. It's called the Balcony of the Mediterranean, or the Balcon de Mediterranea in Spanish. And we're, I'm standing on the mirror mar. Mirror is look, and mar is sea, so it's look at the sea. So that's what Miramar means, look at the sea. You can see the boat coming back from the island there. One of the boat trips out today. Sailing in. Whoops, hang on, what have I done here? There he is. Can I keep setting there? It's not choppy today. The boat looks like he's uh, pretty smooth. But he's just coming back from the island. Better medical with Irish, yeah. Of course, you can get medical insurance and everything else cheaper or free. No, you get it. I think you get it free, actually. There he is. I was just uh, didn't realise I'd wandered. Any channel? Well, there might be a few trying to get over. This is where they go. The boat is out, is in the harbour at the moment, so I would say no. They probably get a notification when um, there's the there's the there's the, the patrol boat there, the grey one. That's one of the many few they've got here. Of course you've got, I can't see that much on the screen at the moment. Whoops. You went to that wee island. Oh right, I've never been there yet, but we should be going soon. On my days off, we'll be doing lots of different things. I can't see what that says there. I'm going to have to try and look at the... The sun is on the screen. Living. Do you know what? I can't see what it says. Is an advantage. Living. Oh, living in Northern Art. Is it? Oh, right. I'm really having a struggle to read the screen today. There's the boat coming back. Yeah, seagulls. Yeah, there's loads of them here. Over on the island, there's loads more as well. That one is right here, look. They're hungry, they're asking for food. dual nationality that's brilliant yeah well hopefully after 10 years I can apply for a Spanish residency a Spanish passport after I've been resident for 10 years I can apply for a Spanish passport so that's what I should do I'm trying 
trying to just read the screen. I can't read anything. I'm going to have to go and find somewhere where I can read it. But uh, Noisy, yeah, beach chickens. Yeah, I can see that there now. Trying to, God, really struggling here. I'm just glad somebody's making a joke. Temperature, it was showing 32. If you look on my, if I look on my videos, every day I go down to the, on my way to work, I pass the exchange place and the cigar place, cigarette place, and I show the temperature and the exchange rate every day. And of course you can see, you know, what, what the weather is like as well. It is a beautiful place to live, yeah. So many people don't see this part of Benidorm. That's the problem. And they think Benidorm is just a, a, a place with campsites with English people on, and um, which it, there is campsites with loads of English. And there's, they think it's all bars with the drunk English people around, which there is one street that uh, that sort of happens. But see how many you can see how many streets there are here in Benidorm. It's all quiet in the rest of them, and quite often I get after going through that one street where there's ten thousand people or more, I get up to one of the streets just five minutes away and people say oh it's dead and I think oh, you should have seen me ten, five minutes ago not not every street is uh, God, gotta watch out I might get uh, shot on loads of them today that's unusual it's the most I've seen they're the noisiest they've been anyway but here is Levante Beach which most people know about what's that everybody in the sea here see this side of the beach is better as well so if you find that the area is not so good well, uh, plenty of shit there got some posh hotels here Lumen beach chickens yeah well actually what are they Dom our twitcher is in I need to get the official word on what they are Dom is our Twitcher. He normally tells us exactly. He's, he's the one who knows uh, the different kinds of birds. You, you enjoy the videos, that's good. Herring goals. All oh, right, is it herring goals? I don't know. I know there are goals. I know there's loads where I used to come from in Cornwall as well. Got a couple of nice hotels here as well. I'm trying to read the chat and see where they're Spanish seagulls. There we go. The official word is they're Spanish seagulls. Thank you, Dom. Thank you for the, the official Twitcher in our group. <laughs> so we've got Via Venecia just here. Just the other side through the gap there. You can just about see it. Through there somewhere. That's the Canfali. That is a um Another nice hotel, quite expensive to stay in them, but I mean, you get a balcony just here. I mean, where else would you want to look at that view? You couldn't ask for a better view, really. You can see right across the bay of Levante Beach. They speak fluent Spanish as well. Oh, there we go. So it's not sh shit, it's um, caca in Spanish. It's caca. Grummet is in. Hi, Grummet. That's just half of the... What's it like in November? It's a bit like this, but chillier in the evenings. Sunshine during the day and uh, chilly at night. But it, that, that's November is when it starts to chill down. The coldest months are January and February, but you can still have 28 degrees in January, or 29 degrees if you look back through my YouTube, which you can find a link in my bio. If you're not subscribing, it'd be nice if you could subscribe. I've just had a congratulation, congratulations uh, email from YouTube because I got to 1K. I don't know exactly what it means. I've got to go on the computer, I think, to do anything else. But um, I've looked on my phone when I've had time. By the way, we're up here where the old castle was. And they did dig it up the other, a couple of years ago to find the, the old castle. And they've left some of it uncovered. 
And this is a bit, I like walking across here. And I'm always afraid because of my size that that glass is going to break. So let's walk across. Always feels weird, but uh, no, I'm across okay safely. So it'll, it'll if it withstands my weight, you're okay. And of course, if you remember the TV series, there was a little cafe set up here, a restaurant set up here. And this is where Leslie met Johnny Vegas on the blind date just here. So if you haven't seen it, go watch it and you'll remember then. This is where they had the TV set, cameras set up. And of course, we've just seen Levante Beach, and this is Ponienti. Someone someone likes a view. Who says that? Agda. Hi, Agda. How are you? Como estas? Nice view, yeah. Which part of Spain are you in, Agda? Because I know you're, I, th I think you're in Spain. You've been there, yes. Lovely place. And of course, you've got the extra beach here. There it is. Yep, yeah, it's absolutely amazing here. You can come, and when you come up here in the evening, there's normally a a, a Spanish uh, gypsy with his guitar doing flamenco singing and, and music and it's brilliant it is thank you Lord Lord John thank you very much for that it is a beautiful place here yep over there you've got Grand Valley which is uh, the tallest hotel and there you've got the in tempo building just there that's the tallest one of the tallest buildings that's slightly taller Buenos Aires apartments I'm not sure I know Buenos Aires is uh, a few miles away, but um, I'm not sure about the um, the uh, apartments. Yeah, Primavera Park. We're not that far away. Probably a 10-minute walk, and it's all been redone up. If you look at one of my YouTube videos, have a look through. It's um, it's on there. I was there, and I walked inside the reception area to see it. I'll tell you what, though, it's hot. I'm melting here. I am. I shall be changing my t-shirt as soon as I get into work. Make sure you've got lots of dark t-shirts if you're going to wear a t-shirt around because if you've got any light colored ones, you'll see the sweat marks running down. You'll see the difference in colors. So if you get something that's black, you can hide the sweat, uh, the sweat marks. The only thing is after when they dry out, you've got all these white marks everywhere, the salt coming out your body. My steak was absolutely amazing. Uh, if you look on the, I've just posted it actually. I think it was today or last night I posted the steak up. We had a steak out and it was, I had the fillet steak and it was, abs it's the best steak I've ever had to be honest. It's cooked to perfection. Black, I know black attracts the sun, but it also hides any sweat marks. White, I'm not sure with white, no white. I don't know, that seems to show up the sweat marks as well, because you're going to sweat. Always wondered how much appeared. Oh, in the... How the notch. Yeah, well, apparently that was a, a giant. Two giants, one in Africa, one in Spain here. And um, apparently they were throwing stones at each other. And the giant over here grabbed the, grabbed the mountain, took a chunk out the rock, and it was a bit heavy. And it landed just behind me here. Um, I don't know if you can see it. It landed just here, that chunk of rock. And it's over there, look. Through there. That is Pika Island. That's where the chunk of rock landed. Apparently, they, they have measured it. I don't know if it's true or not, but I did read somewhere that they have sort of measured it. And they say that it is almost the piece that come out of that... Um, come out of that gap there. Hi Pamela, I can see there. Yeah, so that gap up there is almost the island, they say. I mean, take it with a pinch of salt, but uh, that's one of the stories. It's a nice story, I suppose. Just something to talk about. Good for the kids, the kids will believe it. 
but you should never tell lies or else Santa will never bring you any presents. Water looks amazing, it is, yeah, it's crystal clear. As you can see, it's amazing. And it's quite shallow up this way, so. And of course, lots and lots of people here having fun. What's the time? I, oh, I better head into work. I've got 10 minutes. Right, we better head into work. I forgot a bit of time. I'm getting so carried away here. Yeah, so those, that's, that's the beaches. Malpaz down there, Poniente over there, and of course around the corner, over there, around the corner is La Cala, another little beach as well. Lovely little place. So if you're staying in the Grand Valley, you can either come down to the front here or go to the La Cala around the back. So as we go around, you've got the church just here, the beautiful church. We're going to walk around that one in a minute, not inside, but around it. And then you've got Levante, which nearly everybody knows over there. So let's head off down. I might be able to read some chat then when I get down in the shade. We got the canyons. Canyons is in Spanish. You say canyons, but it's canons obviously in English, as you know. A few canyons here, which you are allowed to climb all over if you wish. Get your photos taken on them. There's your word for today. Cannon is canyons. But uh, don't forget the ice cream word for cone. Don't say what I said live once. If you want a cone of ice cream, it's a cono, not what I said. You have to look back through my videos to see what I said once. And it meant something completely different. There's that little gap that we came up through just now when we came up here. See, si, claro, mi amigo. Ah, tu hablo, tu hablas eh, español también. I got it right then, tu, tu hablas. Whenever you've got a tu in front, which is you, the word has an S on the end. The next word, tu hablas. Yo hablo, sometimes. Uh, el habla. Hab, hablé. Is it? I've forgotten now. I'm bad at it as well. But it's something like that. So we're a bit closer to the beach here now, look, as we come down by. Hablo, yeah. Hab, yo, hablo. That means I. Yo is I. So, yo, quieres no trabajo hoy? Is I don't want to work today. See, hablo espanol. I can see the screen now. God. Yo no quieres trabajar hoy. I don't want to work today. Uh, shall we go down past the Maras or? Yeah, we'll go down past the Maras. Have you been to Greece? No, I haven't. I'd like to go to the Greek islands. I've, I've always fancy Greece. There's loads of places I'd love to go, it's just getting the time and money to go. I don't think I'll ever get there unfortunately. You never know if I win the lottery. I didn't get, the, I didn't win last night obviously. Because Nancy called me and told me that our numbers didn't come up. She's checking all the time as well. You're going to Greece tomorrow. Hope you have a fab time. Put some videos on and send them to me. Let me see what it's like, Katie. I'd love to see some really good stuff of Greece. You know, you see it in the brochures. It's like everything. When you see it in brochures, it's okay. But when you see it in real life, try and do some live as well. It's, it is an amazing place, yeah. Because that's what, I mean, that's what I love to see. I, I love Tilly, Tilly by nature. He's Australian uh, and er, she, I think it's he. Anyway, Tilly by nature goes all around Australia, showing some beautiful sights, and I love it. 
I'd still do lives, of course I would. Yeah. I'd probably have a bit better camera. I'd probably have somebody videoing it for me. Here we are, Omaras, Mr. Burgess. How are you? Good. You do? Oh, you've been watching. Oh, you didn't? Oh. All right. Yeah, well, it's warm again today. Nice weather. Well, yeah, I love it, yeah. That's what we're here for. Yeah, that's it. Sun, 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 yeah. <laughs> I think you forgot another S. Cleaned that one up, didn't we? Yeah, we did, yeah. <laughs> so don't... <laughs> yeah, that's right. So don't forget to come in and see Mr. Burgess here at Amara's. They do a pint and a pie, I think, so for for fiver. Euros, that is. Euros, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, fine as we're pie and start, a pint. Uh, we're going to start delivering pies by drone. All right. Somebody said it's pie in the sky, but... Pie in the sky, yeah, I like that. You like that one. We got the comedian here, <laughs> the new Albie Senior. Good morning. So, <laughs> so come and see Mr. Burgess here at O'Mara's when you're around. All right, I've got a better... I've got to go, I've got four minutes. Oh, well. i better get going. See you later. Yeah, see you later. Bye. Cheers. I'm going to have to come up and have a drink in his bar. He always comes in where I work and has a drink, and I never get to uh, go in his. Hi, oh, <laughs> Harry Hill, yeah. If you go on his Facebook page, he's always putting jokes and on there. He's, he is a bit of a joker, so. But he's a really nice guy. A really nice guy. Well, like most people around here are, actually. Most people seem to be happy. I've got three minutes to get to work. Yeah, he is. So always worth always worth going up there and saying that uh, you saw him on here, and uh, you'll have a laugh with him. Buenos dias. Right, let's quickly go through this this area that you can't really tell that it's a tapas alley, but uh, let's go through. the tapas foods here two minutes can I get to two minutes can I get to work in two minutes if I go through here quickly I can I've got a lovely walk to work every day am I that's what makes it worth coming to work and of course our mate is here saludos Hala. here we go again all the lovely foods Yeah, loads of time. Two minutes. That's the rest of Tabas Alley there. So uh, you can tell how close to that I am. We're nearly there. Just around the corner. Hi. There we go. I can see work in the distance. In the distance. Can somebody phone in sick for me? I'm not going to make it. Looks like bars are already open. I see people going in. Right, I got one minute, and I made it. We're here. A bit close today. Oh no, there's nobody going in. It must be another one. Doors not open yet, so I'm okay. Saved by the saved by the bell. Right. Don't forget to join. Yes, we'll be walking back from work later. I could, no, I can't stay live all day, Bill, sir. As much as I'd like, if I owned the bar, I would. If I owned the bar, I would stay live. Your mum's saying at Bermuda's. Oh, that's up near me. Right up next to the Gala Placidia. There's the door opening, so. I will see you all later on. Oops. Not a lot, not enough, but it's enough to survive. The pay is not very good, but. Oh. McCabish, McKibabish, yes, see you soon. Donna, she's here. Mike is here. Nicole is here. Mike, you know, is Hooded Ginger. So three of my moderators are here. One more coming at the weekend. And of course, Miss Nancy coming on Monday. So look forward to that. Right, I'll see you all later. Make sure you're having a great day. And uh, hopefully we'll uh, 
we'll see you all later on. You'll invest in a restaurant for me to run. That'd be good. Yeah, I'll do that. Don't know how good I would be, but uh, we'd have a go. So, yep. See you later. It's one minute. No, it's 30 seconds go, so I better go. Bye, everybody. See you soon.